use the force Luke uh, you will need one of these leads uh, with the clips and that gets pushed off as soon as the lead hits the water uh, it moves the um, hook off so you will need one of those and a cascade swivel as well for this rig uh, these ones are from Gemini nice little bit of kit those and the rig utilizes those and power gun we're going to use today instead of crimps and a couple of reasons for that and then just your normal uh, swivels uh, we're going to go for two O's today and one O's and Gemini SRT springs again essential for this rig and the idea is with this rig there it is made up you've got a smaller fish may well go for the smaller hook so you're pouting and your whiting sort of thing and then your bigger cod uh, on the larger bait as well so two different hook sizes probably a size say you can use a size 4 or a size 4 over the bottom so start by tying on the main swivel uh, onto 60 pound line I use greased weasel but uh, you possibly have your favorites there uh, and then it's just sort of five four or five turns round form a loop and then go back through two or three times and then you want to pull sort of everything, keep everything tight. And then you would moisten at this point as well. And then just slide the knot and then just sort of tweak the, the running end a bit as you go. You'll get better at that. I tend to use line clipper here, but you can, you can see I'm using the uh, big scissors. That's what I had to hand. And then you want to take the other end of the line. You've got about a meter or so of, of this. You can adjust that. Uh, depending on your casting style and where you're fishing from and then onto that you're going to put a bead these are the beads that come with the SRT swivels and these are some aero beads from China that I just bought that are pretty rubbish let's get rid of those um, and then your 1.0 size swivel onto there and then slide that down and you're going to put a bead, your SRT spring which slides on there, bead and then you're going to tie it off with that power gum. I'm suggesting you use power gum here because um, you can move the power gum up and down the line a little bit easier than the crimp as well. So you don't need to be as accurate and it sort of gets you out of a hole by um, tidying up the rig a little bit easier. So sort of five turns and then go back inside yourself, do the other five turns. You can moisten this as well. And you can see it, all the loops should pack in quite neatly. And then trim it, not too close because it might pull out. And there you go, so at the top of the rig you've got your, your swivel tied onto the end. You've then got uh, a bead, a swivel, a bead, and then you can actually use some more power gum at the top there uh, as well to trap that in. So you're basically trapping a swivel onto the main line. And the SRT swivel is going to give it a little bit of uh, flex. Now on the bottom hook, so this is further down now towards the weight, this is where you're going to utilise a cascade swivel. And your top hook is going to hook onto the cascade swivel. So we're going to tie the power gum on again. This is a stopper for that second uh, swivel. I don't really like those big scissors. I shouldn't be showing myself using those. Um, the bead, this is the bead that comes with the SRT uh, spring as well, which is, uh, I really like those beads as well. A little less fiddly than the uh, aero beads. And then you're going to put on the Gemini that way round and you've got to make sure it goes the right way round oh, so you've got your cascade swivel one there and you've got to make sure it goes on the right way round so that the point of the cascade swivel is uh, pointing downwards and you're just going to trap that cascade swivel in so put a bead in obviously the bead needs to be wider than the actual uh, swivel itself and then back to the power gum bung that on lovely trim that one off not using those scissors hopefully let's tidy up the beads look at that magic Okay, really starting to get somewhere with this rig now. So you've got your cascade swivel in there. That's going to be trapped in. And then you've got your SRT um, sprung swivel on the top. 
and now it's time to put the hooks on Got a slightly larger I think that's a 3.0 or 4.0 will do you can use any size hooks you want really um, I tend to find a bigger one on the bottom hook and this smaller one on the top so I'm going to tie on to the bottom here to make this rig make a bit more sense the lead clip always use a lead clip don't go directly onto the lead and then you want to tie on the hook using the same knot did last time I'm using amnesia here that's that black line the snood line amnesia is brilliant absolutely brilliant uh, hook line and now you need to start thinking about measurements so so this hook here is the larger bottom hook this could be like a 4-0 if you like um, it really depends on what bait you're using, perhaps squid or, or lug even tied on. And you're going to tie that on to the cascade swivel, which is your bottom hook. Using that same knot, always moisten the knot as well. It's not going to be much more than sort of six or seven inches, the bottom hook there. It's quite short. So we know that that when it's pulled straight and the hook is clipped into that uh, hook clip on the lead that the next hook coming down from the top swivel the smaller hook um, <coughs> we should know where that's going to go and if you want to make your hook snoods exactly the same you can look at this video it's a previous video we did how to make your hook snoods exactly the same uh, and that might be helpful here but I've just basically I've just roughly measured it out really to there the top hook goes into the cascade swivel clip the bottom hook is and then just tie on the top hook snood as well uh, it's good if you can try and keep that line as taut as, as possible um, you sort of in the end when you've tied a lot of rigs you tend to keep everything taut by using different fingers and wrists and stuff like that just to keep everything tight and then I'm just going to do the simple one here really good knots come out of this amnesia as well I do recommend that amnesia that's 30 pounds sort of blood knot there okay clip it short with those comedy scissors but what we're left with is a little bit of a mess here so it's time to tighten everything up you can see that cascade swivel moves there and that's because obviously the power gum hasn't been pushed tight to trap the swivel between the two beads so you want to make sure that the black line that's that amnesia there uh, is straight and it's the same um, tension as the main line uh, now obviously if you have got big bait on here you might need to adjust it slightly before you cast but roughly it'll be something like that and again that's the advantage of the power gum and you can move it without it harming the line and once there's a bit of weight on that line as well that will tighten everything up so something like that is going to work really well and that will definitely when you hit the water with that that will loosen that uh, bottom hook and then of course we've got the top hook as well and that's going to latch itself onto there and what is left for us to do is tighten up that top section and that's where it's easier of course where you can slide it down and the easiest thing to do is take the power gum itself and get that into position not try and bend against the actual spring and then just slowly tighten everything up so it's the same as that bottom hook uh, that will work you can always put your power gum up at the top there as well just to trap that in um, and that is pretty much it uh, you'll need a little final adjustment when you're actually out on the field and you've got the weight of the bait on there as well uh, but it's reasonably foolproof that one and as long as you haven't got uh, bits of lugworm that are wrapping around the rest of the line that should all disengage once that hits the water 
Well, I've actually quite enjoyed doing that. This was one of the ones in uh, Sea Angler this month. They've got five cod rigs. Might be worth checking that out. Uh, give this one a go. We're going to take that fish in as soon as the uh, weather dies down a bit. Uh, there it is made up. Um, be great to have you subscribe to the series. And thanks very much for watching.